Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at this, which is a Dell Inspiron 15 5570 laptop. And we are going to start by turning over the system. And first of all, we have three screws at the back of the machine. These are held captive, so they will not come out. This particular machine has an optical drive, uh, same basic thing applies if you do not have the optical drive um, just obviously you don't have the CD drive and the screws underneath it to remove first. Going on to the other screws and as I remove these I'm going to just place them out the way in roughly the order they were removed. Uh, most of them are the same size in this laptop but there are a couple different and like I say obviously those three rear ones are held in place. So just remember which ones came from where, basically the two smaller ones come from around the optical bay. And in this we are setting up with a new battery, SSD and replacement hard drive. And with that done, we can slide out our optical drive, and then we have another two screws underneath that. Uh, obviously, if there is no optical bay in your laptop, these screws will not be here, and this isn't necessary. With that done, we now have to flick the laptop back over and open the screen. Our next step is to take our little plastic pry tool and find the edge between the touch, the uh, palm rest and the base of the laptop and we are simply going to press that in between the two. This will release the top uh, palm rest panel from the base of the machine. Pressing again down just to get it into the gap. Obviously never use uh, metal tools for this, they will mark and damage the plastics. Um, plastic ones much gentler on it and just do your best to avoid damaging any of the little plastic clips as you go. With that done and the majority released we should now be able to flip the laptop back over and then just lift from the front of the machine need to we can just lift and release the back clips and lift the palm rest out of the way. The first thing for us to do now having got into the machine is to disconnect the battery. To do that we are going to pull on the edges of the battery connector here and lift it out. Now because this battery is faulty there are some big lumps and bumps in it which don't look particularly right. We are then going to remove the four screws holding the battery in place. And with that done, we can simply lift the battery out. Uh, this battery is a WDXOR type battery, and we have our replacement right here. And what you can see is replacement batteries do not come with the cable. So what we just need to do is gently so pull out the cable connecting the battery to the laptop and insert it into our new battery. Now for the moment I'm going to leave the battery out as it does make accessing the hard drive a little easier. Uh, we are replacing the hard drive in this instance because it has failed. Uh, this machine just shipped with a one terabyte hard drive 
and we're going to replace that with another one terabyte hard drive. So these four screws hold the drive assembly in place. So we are just going to lift up the drive and flip this over and then with that done we can use this central piece otherwise it does just seem to unclip that back bit of plastic so we can just try our best quite a stiff fit on this one but just unplug the SATA connector now with that done we have four screws on the drive which we need to remove and then we can lift out faulty drive and fit in our replacement making sure this goes the same way around and replace the four screws those refitted we can then simply reconnect the SATA cable and put the drive in place. With the drive refitted we can then refit the four screws Now, while we're in here, we also just going to show for the sake of demonstration, we can fit a additional DDR4 DIM. This takes a DDR4 2400 modules. Uh, so to insert an additional DIM module, so we have one here, which could be removed and replaced. And to add a second, we just insert and press down into that slot. We also could add a M2 2280 SSD. There is a single screw here. Um, if you had ordered the machine with an SSD drive, there would be a little shield uh, which would go over the SSD. However, um, as long as it has sufficient sort of area on here that it's not going to short any componentry on the drive, you can fit an SSD like this simply by removing the screw. If you'd want to fit it with the little shield and cover, you can get that from Dell, um, but it's not necessary in my experience. We can then just insert the SSD, screw it down, this is an MVME type SSD and that will fit that into our system. With that done all that's left to do is to refit our battery. So we are going to position the battery and reinstall the four screws. and then reconnect the battery cable. With that done, we can take our base and put it back into position. To reinstall the base then, I'm going to start by just pressing around, not too hard, with it this way up, then turn the laptop over and just work around, making sure at all points 
palm rest is properly clipped in to the base, including up the top here. And then all that is left to do is to flip the machine over and refit our screws. So starting with the three retained at the back here. Then the two that sit under the optical drive. Reinsert the drive itself. And the two shorter screws. And then all that is left to do go around and continue fitting the leftover screws. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any questions, obviously do let us just know in the comments below. Um, if you would like to see more videos as we post them, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you found it helpful. If you have, hit like. Thanks for watching.